Your 11 Alive storm trackers keeping our eyes on the tropics and things are starting to get more active again. This is tropical storm gamma that formed yesterday. It now has winds at 65 miles per hour, so it is strengthening. We have tropical storm warnings here all across the Yucatan Peninsula on the northeastern side, and this storm is moving to the northwest at eight miles per hour as it's going to be crossing over the Yucatan Peninsula. As it does so, it will likely weaken a little bit. Friction caused by the land tends to do that to tropical systems and then it's going to be moving into the Gulf of Mexico. We were a little unclear as to what the models were indicating. They were in disagreement for a while, sending it more northerly. But right now, the last several runs have kept it south, which would put it through the Bay of Campeche. That's the southern end of the Gulf of Mexico, impacting southeastern Mexican coastline here. So right now, we're not expecting any impacts across the U.S., except for a little moisture that could get entrained along this frontal boundary here, and that could bring in some thunderstorms to Florida as well as into South Georgia. Right now, we think we'll be on the dry side of things as we head through our Sunday, so no worries for us in terms of impacts from gamma right now. So gamma is now over the Yucatan. We have another one on its heels here. This one's south of the Dominican Republic and expected to move right in gamma's direction, so over towards the that same area in the Western Caribbean and then entering the Central Gulf. So we'll have to watch that. It is a 60% chance of developing the next five days, a 30% chance in the next couple of days. Also have a couple of other systems here. This one has a 10% chance of developing. It's out in the center of the Atlantic. So right now it's still many days out and just with that 10% chance, confidence isn't good with that one. And another one here in the central Atlantic, a little further to the south, has a slightly better chance of developing within the next five days. So your 11 of Live storm trackers will keep our eyes peeled on these systems as we continue to develop and head into that second peak of uh, hurricane season, which is always in the uh, middle of October.